from tape, CDs, DVDs, to our publication, Voices from His Excellent Glory, Declaring the Kingdom, write P.O. Box 21516, Hot Springs, Arkansas, zip 71903. Our website is www.lakehamiltonbiblecamp.com and lhbconline.com. There are hundreds of free audio files there. It's like going to Bible school at home. This is the 2019 Memorial Day Teaching and Deliverance Camp Meeting being held at Lake Hamilton Bible Camp in Hot Springs National Park, Arkansas. Saturday afternoon, May the 25th, 2019, Jerry McGee is the speaker of the service teaching on Principles of Abiding in Christ. This is now the conclusion of this message from Part A. So if you've been diagnosed as something bad, the question is, are you going to produce fruit or not? If not, why would God heal you? <coughs> if he cuts you off. I'm hoping I'm getting delivered of some. <laughs> you know, the prayer team, we get delivered too, you know, every day. You know, deliverance is not, some people say, well, I got delivered. I've already gone through deliverance five years ago or four years ago. I get delivered every day. The Lord shows me something to repent of. Every day I see something, and all I have to do is ask God to forgive me, and I'm delivered. It's boo devil. We'll walk in God's kind of love. John 5.10 says, If you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love, even as I have known I've kept my Father's commandments, and you abide in His love. And abide in His love. You'll abide forever, eternally. I have a cousin that uh, was close to me, like Lorna was close, but he was a boy cousin. And <clears throat> we were together a lot, like Lorna and I were together growing up. And uh, for 50 years, I've been telling him he needed Jesus. And just recently, I, I told him, I said, Bobby, you need Jesus. He said, don't, Lenny, Lenny, I love you, but don't you ever talk to me about God again. Last month, his sister took him to Switzerland and he was euthanized because um, his, his lungs, he was having to have his lungs drained. He was just, I mean, he was, he was physically just almost dead. So he said, I'm taking my life into my hands. I thought, sure. I thought about him the other day. Unless he made some kind of a, a commitment, which I doubt if he did, because I think anybody that kills herself, you don't go to heaven, because murder, no murderer will enter the kingdom of heaven. But I was thinking about him the other day, because I told him, I said, Bobby, I'm going to tell you one more time, you need Jesus, and then I'm never going to say anything again. But I said, when you burn it in hell, you're going to wish you to listen. And those are the exact words I told him. And I told him I loved him. And uh, last I heard, he's in eternity. And I don't think it's in a good place. You think torment's dead, bad here. God is coming for the overcomer, not for the overcome. You've got to over. We've got all kinds of stuff. Fear. Did you know that you've got to overcome every fear in your life? Fear is the demon. Everything that makes you angry, you have to overcome it. Everything that depresses you, everything that hurts you, uh, everything that you're addicted to, all these things, we have to overcome. And thank God it's little by little. It's not, one, it's not all at once. Because it would overwhelm you. If, you could have a, if I could have a picture of what's down in my heart that I don't yet see, I probably would pass out. But God is so gracious and so merciful. He uses your problems. And if you don't hear anything else, He uses your problems to point you to the next thing He wants to fix. That's encouraging. That's a whole different way to look at your problems, isn't it? And when God tells you to bind the devil, bind him. But basically deal with God because it's a God problem, not a demon problem. Depart from me and do good. It says, Psalms 37, 27. We'll abide forever. It says, depart from me and do good. Depart from evil and do good so that you will abide forever. And then you have a prospering soul and inheritance for your children if you abide. The scripture says that righteous man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. Psalms 25 verse 3 says, 
your soul will abide in prosperity and your descendants will inherit the land. And with him we can do everything. Without him we can do nothing. John 15, 4. You will abide in God's love. John 15, 10. If you keep my commandments, you'll abide in my love as I have my Father's commandments and abide in his love. You'll have joy. John 15, 11. These things have I spoken to you that your joy may be full. You'll be a friend of God. John 15, 14. Jesus said, you're my friends if, capital I-F, you do what I say. Do you want to be God's friend? I do. Abraham was a friend of God, and I want to be his friend too. Do you want to be his friend? Then you have to do what he says. You know, when he was on the cross, somebody, one of, somebody, I don't know who it was, I think it was one of his disciples, came to me and said, Lord, your mother and your brothers are out there. And Jesus said, my mother and brothers are those who hear the word of God and obey it. He said that of his own family. You'll no longer be a slave and you'll know his will. John 15, 5. No longer do I call you slaves, for the slave does not know what his master is doing. But I've called you friends for all things that I have heard from my Father I have made known to you. So we can know the will of God. The will of God is just one word, submit. (laughs) And he's going to do everything else. The older I get, the more I realize how he takes care of every detail of my life. Things that you would normally in earlier years would get you all out of sort. Or you'd think, oh dear God, whatever. And I always say, God, you have a better plan. You know what you're doing. <clears throat> and you were chosen and appointed that you bear fruit. That was the purpose of him choosing you. John 15, 6, you didn't choose me, but I chose you that you might go and bear fruit. And then we have confidence and a clear conscience. First John 3, 21 says, if your conscience is clear, you have confidence before God, uh, which means faith and trust in God. And it also means freedom of speech. If you don't have freedom of speech, it's because your conscience isn't clear. 1 John 2.28 says, Little children, abide in him so that when he appears you will have confidence and not shrink back from him at his coming. And so my question today, will you choose today to uh, abide in Christ? To live to live on the potter's wheel? Regardless of your circumstances, stay yielded. <clears throat> Galatians 2.20 says, I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me, and the life I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Full surrender is the only key to abiding in Christ. It's the only key to victory of living an overcoming Christian life. And you have to be born again. And I don't mean just praying a prayer to receive Jesus. I mean your heart. You, you need a new heart. I accepted the Lord in 1958 at the Billy Graham Crusade, but it wasn't until 1963 that I was born again. And when I was born again, everything about me changed, and I'm still a work in progress. But I used to I used to curse like a sailor. And one day after I was born again, a curse word came out of my mouth, and I said, God, that doesn't sound like anything that ought to come out of a Christian's mouth. And God delivered me 57 years ago. So, you have to be born again. And you have to be to the place where you're willing to uh, deny yourself. A while ago, I talked to a lady in Finland. Some lady called. And I asked her if she had ever received Jesus as Savior. And she said, no. And I said, would you like to? She said she didn't know. And I said, well, you can call me back when you make up your mind. <clears throat> You see, you have to be born again because if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things pass away and behold, all things become new. If there, if, you know, if you're truly born again, you know that you know that you know that you know you're born again and nobody can talk you out of it. You know that you're born again. You can't even explain it. I couldn't explain to you what being born again it's like, but I could explain it this way. You just know that you know that you know, and nobody can talk you out of it. I know because everything about me changed, and I'm still changing. Those of you who knew me last year, I'm a different person this year. Every time I leave this camp, I'm different. 
And I thank God for that. I thank God for this camp because I've been coming since 1997. And I, every time I leave, I'm freer of something. And so I thank God for deliverance. I thank God for teaching me about repentance. Because of what God's taught me about repentance, and I give God the glory. Every time I share this, the enemy condemns me that, boy, you're really asking for it. The devil's really going to do something to you now. You know what I'm saying? But I, it's a testimony of what God does in a person's life if we keep on yielding. I haven't been to the doctor in 27 years, and I'm on no medication. And what he shared about medication, I'm here to tell you, we're not telling you not to take it. But medication, every side effect is another disease. And the number, three, the number one killer of people in the United States is uh, heart disease. Number two is cancer. Number three and four is medical mistakes and prescription drugs. Those are the number four killer of people in the United States, the three and four killer. And so whatever you're taking, you better check the side effects. The, a man that works for me in the kennel actually one day fell down. He's, he's almost as old as me. I think he's 78, and he's still, you know, active and all that stuff. But he actually fell down in my driveway the other day, and I was so, he was dizzy, he was getting dizzy. And I said, what kind of medication are you on? He said, well, I'm on high blood pressure medicine. And I said, well, you, he said, I think I'm going to cut back on it. I said, well, just, you better not just drastically do it. Just, you know, if you're going to cut back, just cut back. But don't just cold turkey unless God tells you. Anyway, he quit, the, he quit the high blood pressure medicine and told his doctor. And the doctor said, well, we'll just watch it the next two or three months. But, you know, don't take it anymore. One of the side effects is dizziness and the high blood pressure medicine. You know, that's anger and fear and worry that's running your blood pressure up. Deal with that and it'll come down to normal. What is it that medication, the side effects of medication, to me, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. The minute I start to get something, if I, and, I, and I've had a lot of stuff, uh, sinus infection, I haven't really been sick, but so anything that comes, and I can see it come like a cold's coming, I'll say, God, oh God, what did I do? And I'll start repenting, and it'll go just that way. So ask God what you've done. Ask God to show you the spiritual root to your physical problem. Okay, I wasn't going to go long, but I'm not going to apologize. So. <laughs> So if you'll stand up, let's ask the Lord to show you what you need to do to get on the potter's wheel. <clears throat> Father, in the name of Jesus, search my heart, test my thoughts. Let me know the truth, Lord, that sets me free. I ask you, Lord, to show me what I need to repent of. And Lord, I just loose on them the, the uh, fear of God, the conviction of sin, and the spirit of repentance to be poured out in Jesus' name. And just repent of whatever the Lord shows you, and then if you'll sit down, tell Him you want to be, you want to, you, you're, you want to come unto Him because you're weary and heavy laden, and you're tired of trying to turn the potter's wheel, and tired of trying to fix yourself, afraid of Him. And if you think He's like your parents, you'll hesitate to go, and then you've got a fainting spirit. <clears throat> so forgive your parents for any negatives in their lot that you saw in them when they were training you up. <coughs> Father, I ask you to forgive me for rebellion. <clears throat> forgive me for not walking in the Spirit. Forgive me for being uh, having an Antichrist spirit. <clears throat> forgive me for not knowing your Word. Forgive me for having no interest in your Word. Forgive me for saying I'm a believer, but I'm a game player. Forgive me for lying, cheating, <clears throat> being a whoremonger. Forgive me for pornography. God, forgive me for lewdness, lust, sexual sin, uh, adultery, fornication, bestiality. Lord, forgive me for pedophilia. I forgive anyone that's uh, molested me or raped me or... Uh, sodomized me God forgive me for not staying under your authority not waiting on you uh, Lord I want to come under your control I choose to deny myself and take up my cross and follow you 
Forgive me for not delighting in you. Forgive me that my heart has been hard. Forgive me for not making my heart soft, tender, and pliable. Lord, I ask you to make my heart soft, tender, and pliable. Forgive me for not delighting in you. Forgive me for not abiding in you. Forgive me for not producing fruit. God, forgive me for uh, not keeping a clear conscience. Forgive me for not confessing my sin. Forgive me for loving my sin more than I love you. Forgive me for loving my lust more than I love you. Forgive me for being a man pleaser. Forgive me for being a blabbermouth. Forgive me for always running off at the mouth. Forgive me for hijacking people with words. God, I ask you to forgive me for not being your friend, for not doing what you say. Forgive me for living with a temporal mindset instead of an eternal mindset. Lord, I ask you to teach me to number my days that I might present to you a heart of wisdom. Forgive me for not walking in the light as you're in the light. Forgive me for not letting my light so shine before men that they glorify you and see that my good works and glorify you. Forgive me for not reflecting Jesus. Forgive me for not letting your character and nature manifest in me. Forgive me for not producing love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, self-control through dying to myself. Forgive me for not dwelling in the secret place of the Most High God. Forgive me for being a person that's rebelled against the light. Forgive me for being a rebel, a renegade. Uh, forgive me for uh, not abiding in your ways. Forgive me for not even knowing, wanting to know your ways. Forgive me for wasting so much time here on this earth with temporal things. God, I ask you to forgive me for, being a, um, for not walking in integrity. Forgive me for not having moral, good moral um, principles. Forgive me for not having an honest, um, being honest. Forgive me for ha- being a coward and for having a lying spirit since birth. The scripture says that those who, go, those who lie go astray from birth. Forgive me for going astray from birth, having a lying spirit, hiding, camouflaging myself, being a hypocrite, I ask you to forgive me, Lord. Forgive me for slandering with my tongue. Forgive me for doing evil to people. Forgive me for shaming people, taking up reproach against a friend, uh, treating people with disapproval or disappointment. God, forgive me for not despising reprobates and honoring those who fear you. Forgive me for not keeping promises, even if it hurts me. Forgive me for being double-minded and, and changing, vacillating. Uh, Forgive me for being a chameleon, changing colors with whatever I'm on. That's a hypocrite. Forgive me for being lukewarm. Forgive me for taking psychiatric medicine. Forgive me for being addicted to drugs, pharmacia. Forgive me for making my doctor a god instead of you. Forgive me for loving my doctor more than I love you. Forgive me for loving my drugs and my pills more than I love you. Forgive me for um, not abiding by all things written in your word to perform them, which puts me under a curse. I ask you to remove the curse. God, um, forgive me for not abiding in you so I'd have an anointing and not need a teacher. Forgive me for not abiding in you um, so that I would have evidence of the Holy Spirit. Forgive me for not abiding in you so that I could have you and be saved. Forgive me for disconnecting from your vine. Lord, I've been drying up like a branch, because a dead branch, because I haven't been connected to you. I ask you to reconnect me, Lord, in Jesus' name. I confess my sin. Forgive me that the source of my strength has not been you. It's been caffeine. It's been drugs. It's been alcohol. It's been sex. It's been whatever is my thing, whatever I'm trusted in, whatever my secret sin is. Forgive me for not being a disciple, not loving others. Forgive me for not bringing glory to you. Forgive me, Lord, for regarding iniquity in my heart, which has kept you from answering my prayers. 
Forgive me for not produce, producing eternal fruit. Forgive me for living for the nasty now now instead of eternity. Forgive me for not bearing fruit that remains. Lasting fruit. Forgive me for all the times I've done things in the flesh in the name of the Lord and it's been wood, hay, and stubble. Forgive me too, Lord, in Jesus' name. Forgive me for not being your friend because I'm not doing what I say. Forgive me for not abiding, which would cause me to be a castaway. Forgive me for not walking in your love, fulfilling your covenant, abiding in your love. Forgive me for not abiding so I abide eternally. God, I want to depart from evil right now in the name of Jesus so that I can abide forever. I want to have a prospering soul, and I want to have an inheritance, a good inheritance for my children, my children's children. I want to be prosperous, Lord, in you, spiritually prosperous. Forgive me for thinking that I can do everything on my own. Forgive me for not abiding so I could abide in your love. Forgive me for not abiding so I would so I could have joy. Forgive me for being a slave. Lord, you want to teach me all things, and because I've been a slave, you can't do that. I want you to call me uh, your child. I ask you to choose me, Lord, that I might bear fruit. Forgive me for all the years I have not produced good fruit, which would cause you to cut me off, man together me, and me to be thrown in the fire and destroyed. Forgive me for not walking and living with a clear conscience. If you're truly God's, when you do something wrong, I'm telling you, your conscience is going to eat you up. Unless, and the one thing people do is they get into TV and movies so they don't have to think about what's going on with them. It's an escape. Forgive me for escaping through movies and through, through television and through books so I don't have to think about where I'm at. God, forgive me for not abiding in you, which would cause me to shrink back at your coming. I want it, Lord, I want you to say to me, well done, my good and faithful servant. Help me live in such a way that when I stand before you, I'll not shrink back. And Lord, I just put myself on your potter's wheel through coming under your control. I come unto you now, Lord. I take your yoke on my neck. Lift your hands to heaven, Lord. I break off every other yoke, yokes of people, self-inflicted yokes, every yoke, yoke, every yoke of bondage. And Lord, I ask you to come down and clothe my neck with the yoke of heaven, which produces love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, self-control. In Jesus' name, praise you, Lord. And Lord, I want to be born again. Uh, forgive me for playing games. Forgive me for living. Just because I've received you, I thought I could just live any old way I wanted to, and I can't. The way I've been living would send me right straight to hell, and I don't want to go to hell. I want to live for eternally with you. And that's forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And down here, if you live 80 years, 90 years, 100 years, that's nothing compared to eternity. In Jesus' name. Well, the Bible says that God will give a crown of righteousness to those who've been faithful to him. I want a crown of righteousness. Bless the Lord. And Lord, in Jesus' name, I just uh, I repent of everything you've shown me, Lord. And Lord, I forgive my forefathers for everything I've confessed, for them not abiding in you. I forgive all of my forefathers that are burning in hell right now because they didn't love you. Lord, I ask you in Jesus' name to start with Adam and Eve and let your cleansing blood flow down through my bloodline, washing away any ground Satan's had in my life through the generational iniquities of the forefathers of everything I've confessed. I break soul ties with my forefathers. I call back my soul and my... Hu you know, I pray that way, but you don't have to pray that way. You can just say, Lord, whatever mine got on, whatever mine got on them, I call back, and whatever theirs got on me, I send back. However you want to do it. But you got their image. So you don't want their image. You want the image of Christ. So I exchange their image for the image of Christ. And I break generational curses, soul type curses, cultural curses. And I say soul and human spirit because when I say soul and spirit, they think I'm talking about the Holy Spirit. Everybody here has a human spirit that was you were born with that joins with Christ. But wherever we've joined it with an idol, we've joined to a harlot in different areas. In Jesus' name, I come against every spirit of Antichrist 
I come against all spirits of rebellion. I come against a, a seared over conscience. I come against a reprobate mind. I come against dementia. I come against mental problems, mind-binding spirits. I come against pharmacia. I come against addictions to drugs, alcohol, cigarettes, nicotine. I come against addictions to sex. I come against sexual perversion, adultery, fornication, bestiality, incest, in Jesus' name. Take a deep breath. Blow out. Come out in the name of Jesus. I break your power in the mighty name of Jesus. Just give it a cough. Come out in Jesus' name. I come against hatred, variance, strife, emulation. I come against all the works of the flesh. I come against stubbornness. I come against a perverse spirit. I come against a lying spirit. I come against the spirit of a coward. I come against timidity, shyness. I come against lethargy, apathy, passivity, double-mindedness in the name of Jesus. I come against a passive mind. I come against the demons that have zoned them out and blanked out their minds. I come against the, the spirits that cause them to live off in Lala land in the name of Jesus. I come against the demons that cause them to sneak around and hide and lie. I come against homosexual spirits, effeminate spirits in the name of Jesus. Take a deep breath. Blow out. Come out. Spirits of lust. The lust of the flesh. The lust of the eyes. The boastful pride of life. Spiritual blindness. Spiritual deafness. Deaf and dumb spirit. I come out. Spirit of stupor in the name of Jesus. I come against every spirit of a reprobate mind. Dementia. Alzheimer's disease in the name of Jesus. I come against cancer, Parkinson's disease. I come against blindness, diabetes, double-mindedness in the name of Jesus. I come, I'm going to say this about diabetes. I've never met a person that had diabetes that was not double-minded and a man-pleaser. Now, there may be other people, but, but examine. If you've got diabetes, examine. Have you been a man-pleaser? Have you been a compromiser? Have you been double-mindedness? Double-minded? A double-minded person just shifts with the wind. You know, whatever the way the wind blows it. That's the way they go. So, Lord, forgive me for double-mindedness. Forgive me for compromise. Forgive me for passivity, apathy. Forgive me for, Lord, I break the power of rejection. I command you to go now in the name of Jesus. Uh, I come against the demons that tell them that God is like their daddy. He don't love them. He don't want them. He won't talk to them. He don't want the best for them. He won't protect them. I break the power of those lies in Jesus' name. You come out now. Take a deep breath. Blow out. Out in the name of Jesus. I come against every spirit that came in through the lack of nurture, through not being breastfed. Every spirit that came in through not being protected by parents. Every spirit that came in through being trained up in the way they should not go. Come out now in the name of Jesus. I break the power of a talkativeness. Every spirit that would cause them to hijack people with words. I break the power of hijacking with words. I break the power of confusion in the name of Jesus. I come against blabbermouth in Jesus' name. I come against the spirit of slander or the accuser of the brethren. I command you to come out resentment, bitterness, anger, hostility. All spirits of fear of giving up their life, fear of dying to their flesh, fear of what God will do if they yield. All spirits of demonic fear of God. All spirits that tell them they have to be perfect. All spirits that tell them they have to clean themselves up. I come against legalism, lies, lying, unbelief, and doubt. Come out now in Jesus' name. I break your power in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out, gluttony in the name of Jesus. I come out, the God of the belly, come out in Jesus' name. Get out of me too in Jesus' name. I break your power. Come out now in the name of Jesus. All spirits of addictions to food in Jesus' name. Gluttony, I break your power. Every spirit that would cause them to live to eat instead of eat to live. Come out now. Every spirit that would cause their meat to be to, uh, to not do the will of God. Come out now in Jesus' name. Hatred, come out. Murder, leave them now. Humanism, fascism, communism, Nazism, come out. All, all spirits of the one world order, all demons of Satanism, witchcraft, come out. Sorcery, magic, pharmakia, break your power in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out. Fainting spirits, all spirits that want to get a divorce, divorcement, all spirits of fainting spirits, spirits that cause them to lose heart, want to give up and quit, 
All spirits that cause them to take a nosedive when there's a problem. All spirits of hiding, you come out now in Jesus' name. I command the angels to drag you out in the name of Jesus. All spirits of blindness, cataracts, glaucoma, eye disease, macular degeneration. Lord, I command our maculars to regenerate in Jesus' name. Tear down strongholds of blindness, dullness, dimness, darkness. The spirit of darkness in Jesus' name. I, I come against the spirit that causes them to want to sit around in the dark because they hate the light. I break the power of that. I break the power of the demons that cause them to feel more comfortable in a dark bar than they do in the light. In Jesus' name, Lord, we ask you to turn on the light in every life. In Jesus' name, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. In Jesus' name, all spirits that keep them from being uh, taking accountability for their sin. All these blame-shifting demons. Fear of man. The demons that cause them to tell people what they want to hear. Come out now, you lying spirits. Out. Take a deep breath. Blow out in Jesus' name. I break your power in Jesus' name. All crippling spirits. Slain spirits, all spirits that hinder their walk, all spirits that cause them to have a drunken gait, drunkenness, come out in the name of Jesus, staggering gait, come out now in Jesus' name, all spirits that came in through not walking paths of righteousness, all spirits of crookedness and perverseness, ungovernable spirits that cause them to be ungovernable. In Jesus' name, I break your power. I tear down these strongholds. Every stronghold I've named, I cast down every imagination, every high and lofty thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. And we take captive in every life, every thought to the obedience of Christ. We punish every disobedience because our obedience is complete. I come against mental illness, insanity. I command you to go madness, anger, bitterness. Come out now, resentment, unforgiveness, torturers, tormentors. I command the tormentors out in the name of Jesus. I break your power in Jesus' name. Spirit of unforgiveness, spirit of suicide, spirit of homicide, murder. Every spirit of, uh, of the, I want to kill myself, I want to die. I break the power of those vows. I want to die. I'm going to kill myself. I break the power of suicide in the name of Jesus. Self-murder, self-hatred, self-bitterness, unforgiveness of self, an unloving spirit. Come out now in the name of Jesus. I break your power. All spirits that defile them, all unclean spirits, you come out now. In Jesus' name, I break your power. In Jesus' name, all defilement. I break soul ties with every person they've had sex with. I cut off all their body parts from every person in this room. In the name of Jesus, I cut their mouths and body parts off of every person they've had sex with. In Jesus' name. The spirits that came in through tattoos, come out now. Spirits that came in through body piercing, come out now in Jesus' name. I, I command the spirit of the tattooer out. I command the spirit of the body piercer out. Come out now in Jesus' name. Praise you, Lord. Renegade, come out. Rage, come out now in Jesus' name. Come out. Grief, sadness, sorrow, depression, despair, hopelessness. Come out now in Jesus' name. Spirit of adultery. Lord, forgive me for committing spiritual adultery against you. Spirit of adulteress. Spirit of a harlot, come out in Jesus' name. Male prostitute, female prostitute, come out now in Jesus' name. Out in the name of Jesus. All spirits that cause them to be in a harem in Jesus' name. All spirits that cause them to lay down and let the enemy make their back a sidewalk, come out. Every spirit of confusion, leave them now in Jesus' name. Dizziness, fainting, you have to come out now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' constipation, come out now in Jesus' name. All spirits that have blocked their emotions, all spirits that came in through stuffed emotions, Lord, I ask you to unlock their emotions in Jesus' name. I take the keys to the kingdom of heaven and I unlock their emotions in the name of Jesus. All spirits of cancer that came in through stuffing your emotions, come out. All spirits that cause them to sweep things under the rug rather than deal with it. In Jesus' name, praise you, mighty God. Bless you, mighty God. Bless you. The spirit of the harlot, come out now. In Jesus' name, laziness. I command laziness through pharmacia. I command laziness that just causes them to lay up like both in the shade and get... Uh, in Jesus' name, spirit of Behemoth, come out now in Jesus' name. Leviathan, 
Spirit of pride, king over son of pride, come out now, all spirits of pride, arrogance, boastfulness, egotism, haughtiness, Leviathan, Python, Dagon, Jezebel, Ahab. I break the curse of Ahab off every person in this room. I break the curse of Jezebel off of every person in this room. In Jesus' name, praise you, God. Praise you, God. Every spirit of self-pity, come out, all spirits. Pity me, feel sorry for me. Uh, always blaming me. You come out now, you lying spirit. Every person, that every uh, the, the spirits that tell them nobody helps them, nobody wants them, nobody loves them. You lying spirit. You add a Christ unloving spirit. You come out now in Jesus' name. Every spirit that tells a man that his wife's the problem. Every wife that every husband. I mean, every wife who tells. Oh, how can I say this? <laughs> every wife who thinks, every demon who tells the wife the husband's the problem, every demon that tells the husband the wife's the problem, get out now in Jesus' name. All marriage-breaking demons come out. All spirits that hinder intimacy come out. All spirits that hinder friendship in marriage. All spirits of selfishness and greed won't give your wife any money, won't give your husband any money. In the name of Jesus, come out spirits of selfishness and greed in the name of Jesus. The love of money, you come out now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Backbiting spirits, you come out now. Slander, you come out. Gossip, you come out now in Jesus' name. All spirits of judgmentalism, critical spirits, come out now in the name of Jesus. I break your power. I command every demon in their bones out. I command spirits of Leviathan out of their tailbone, out of their body. In the name of Jesus. Python, I take the sword of the spirit and I cut the spirit of Python off them. In Jesus' name. Praise you, mighty God. All spirits that came into satanic rituals through the one world order, come out now in Jesus' name. Every spirit that would cause them to have a hiding place, I just break your power. You come out now in Jesus' name. Praise you, Lord. Take a deep breath and blow out in Jesus' name. Praise you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, mighty God. Praise you, Lord. Take a deep breath. Blow out. Thank you, Lord. Fainting spirits, you have to go. Every lie that God's like mom and dad, you come out now in Jesus' name. Praise you, mighty God. Bless you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. I give Jesus a praise. Thank you, Lord. Take a deep breath. Praise Him. When you feel a release, lift your hands and sing with me. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. Jesus, my Lord, He is the mighty King, Master of everything. His name is wonderful, Jesus, Savior. I love you, Lord. Love you, Lord. Our Lord, fill me with love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, self-control. Stand up. Just stand up, please. And Lord, I jerk everybody on the Potter's wheel. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you. Love you. Praise the Lord. This is the end of this message. Our website is www.lakehamiltonbiblecamp.com and LHBC online. Com. There are hundreds of free audio files there. It's like going to Bible school at home.